Okay, hi guys. I uh, hope you're all well. First of all, quick apology for not getting this video done sooner. Just moved house, you might be able to tell. Slightly different surroundings. But the camera that's on all my stuff and wheel cam, pedal cam and all of that is not currently set up. Uh, but I've managed to get this much done so I can get this video done for you for your wheel settings. And that's exactly why we're here. So I'm not going to muck about too much. My other videos go through pretty much what everything does. So I don't need to go through it again and you're probably not interested in another brutally long explanation. You just want to know what figures I'm using. So for that, very, very grateful for your continued support and we will get on with it. So um, here we go. We'll go over to options, controller and advanced controller options here for the wheel settings. So. Um, hopefully the camera is not camera. Yeah, camera. Sorry, it's like slightly over the menu here. So from like here down, I can see it's not quite there. But yeah, you should be able to. You know what? You know what these these will do. So let's just get through. Um, right. So steering axis dead zone zero on the inside and 100 on the outside. No reason for there to be any dead zones on your steering wheel unless you've got a problem with it. Um, acceleration. Um, 50 uh, 55 for my inside um, very quickly I like a little bit of pedal movement before it actually responds and I've got my acceleration down to 80 at the moment now I'm not suggesting that you put this here this needs to be your own choice but I've got mine here because I think I've got some sort of problem with my um, accelerator pedal uh, so when I've got my foot, foot, foot like right down to the floor I'm not getting 100% on it and it's still a bit dodgy at 80, I don't, I don't really want it to go too much lower but that's the only reason it's there, no reason for it to be any lower than 100 if if you've got nothing wrong with the pedals. Uh, deceleration, <laughs> these have become sort of my famous brake settings so again cheers for following them but 18 and 88 are what I'd recommend using if you're using a G920 setup with the brake rubber installed which I am. So. Um, Clutch, 15 and 70, feels good to me. Um, handbrake, I'm just gonna get that to the top of the screen there, right, so we're all the way in there. Uh, handbrake, uh, zero, 100 is on the button, it's fine. Vibration scale, I still don't really like it, so I've got it, uh, I've got it at zero. Force feedback, now this is where some of the new bits do make some kind of um, influence to what figures I'm using. But we can see, we've got um, force feedback, I've got it at 60. You could come up with very different numbers and probably still get a similar feeling. I've said that before in videos, so don't take these as gospel. This is just what I'm using. Um, right, okay, so uh, force feedback at 60. Aligning torque scale. Um, we know what that does. We've spoken about, about that before at 140. Mechanical trail at 165. And pneumatic at 177. These are probably different to my previous video, the last one I did about wheel settings, but honestly I've mucked about with these just constantly and this just feels quite a neutral setup. I like it. It's easy it's easy to drive. Drifting, which is something I I don't ever do, has just suddenly become easy. So um, if you're a drifter and you're looking for some settings that might work, definitely give them a go. Um, I even surprised myself uh, yesterday I was driving around in a Sierra Cosworth uh, going backwards through gaps and it, it was quite I was surprising myself. Anyway, road feel I've got a hundred. Load sensitivity I've got a hundred. This scales how much the aligning torque is affected by tire tire load fluctuations. Uh, lower values produce smoother aligning torque but provide less feel for tyre load changes. We don't need less feel for tyre load changes. There's absolutely no reason why you would want less feel for tyre load changes. Anyone that sets this lower than 100, yeah. you're probably losing a lot of feel from it. It might be to your preference, that's fine, but you, you'd probably be better off trying to tone something else down and balancing something else down like, than, than reducing the load sensitivity. Uh, right, okay, so uh, wheel damper scale I've got down at 45. Centre spring, again, zero. Um, I'm really quite adamant with this. It needs to go to zero. This, if you if you stop a car in real life, you turn the wheel. 
when you let go of the wheel, it doesn't just start spinning backwards on its own because the car ain't moving. But when you start accelerating, everything else, you know, mainly caster angle, pulls that wheel back straight, which it will do in the game even if you've not got any anything up on centre spring. Try it. Um, that needs to be on zero. Simple as. Uh, dynamic damper behaviour. Uh, this controls how much the damper decreases to preserve detail when tyres are slipping. Um, low values produce more constant damper, damper behaviour. Um, I need to know what my dampers are doing. If I can't feel that in the wheel, this is just for me, but if I can't feel that in the wheel, then um, is it... I'm not getting the feedback from it. How do I know it's a problem with my wheel set up? or with the, the car, if, if the dampers in the car are going all over the place, the car's probably not set up right, and if I can't detect that, then, well, it's stupid, isn't it? So, there you go, <laughs> that's my opinion on it. Uh, so I've got that at 100, wheel rotation angle is at 720 for me at the moment, um, which I quite like, and another one I'm really, um, really strong about is the steering linear linearity, that's at 50. It, yeah, simple as smack in the middle. Your steering in in real life doesn't. Your wheels don't suddenly start turning more at, like, at a higher ratio. The more you turn the wheel, the, you have to turn the wheel. The amount you want the wheels to turn. It's as simple as that. And that, yeah, that's a ridiculous option. That should be at fifty anyway. Um, but there we go. Anyway, there they all are. Um, yeah. Enjoy. I hope they help. Um, if they do, please leave a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, do that bit as well. Much appreciated. Thank you so very much. Later's.